So now we're going to look at a sort of more complicated testing situation, and this one fouls doctors up, so let's, we'll, we'll walk our way through this. So suppose a certain disease has an incidence rate of 0.1%, that is, it afflicts 0.1% of the population. In other words, the probability of having this disease is 0.001, 0.1%. So a test has been devised to detect this disease. The test does not produce false negatives. In other words, anyone who has the disease will test positive for it. In other words, the probability of a positive test, given that the person has the disease, is 100%. They will definitely test positive if they have the disease. Uh, but the false positive rate, uh, is, is 5%. This means that the probability that somebody will test positive if they do not have the disease, uh, is, is, is 5%. So 5% of people will test positive even if they don't have the disease. So now if we randomly pick someone, what's the probability that they actually have the disease? In other words, what is the probability of the disease given that they test positive? And as we saw before, this is not going to be the same as the probability of a positive test um, given the disease. So let's work our way through this. So here I've broken down all that information again. So to think about this most simply, let's imagine that we have 1,000 people. Now, because the disease incidence rate is 0.001, or 1 out of 1,000, then that tells me that out of these 1,000 people, one of them will have the disease, and 999 of them will not have the disease, on average. Now, if they have the disease, we know that they're going to test positive. And so this one person is going to have a positive test result. There are no people who have the disease and test negative. But now, out of these 99 people uh, who do not have the disease, we know that 5% of them are going to test positive. So 5% of our 999 people is uh, 49.95 or about 50, so let's just call it 50. Uh, so 50 people are going to test positive who don't actually have the disease, and the other 949 uh, are going to test negative. So that leaves us 51 people testing positive th for the disease. Now remember, what we're really interested in is what is the probability that you have the disease given that you tested positive. Well, now we have enough information to figure that out. How many people tested positive? 51. How many of them actually have the disease? 1. And that comes out to about 1.96%. Uh, so remarkably, even though this test has no false negatives, and only a 5% false positives rate, if you test positive for this disease, there's only a 2% chance that you actually have it. Uh, and that should be surprising, but that is the result of our probability.